Black to play and win. This game was taken from the World Rapid Play Championship for Women, held at the end of 2023, and is between Angela Franco playing white and Umida Omonova playing black. So you can see that white's rook has just come to b1, a critical moment in the game with Black perhaps attacking on the king side, but what do you do after rook b1? Well, in the game, Omanova retreated the rook to b6, but this was a missed opportunity. In fact, she ended up winning the game, but only after white played inaccurately. So how should black play in this position? There's certainly a couple of tempting moves here. Are you ready? Black to play and win. Well, rook d2 is tempting to eliminate that knight and then to attack on the g file. In fact, this doesn't work. Rook b8 check is strong. If king d7, then you take here and there are nasty discovered attacks there. And if knight c8, then queen takes d2. And actually, this attack doesn't work, although it looks incredibly dangerous. But in fact, white has a, an extraordinary winning move here, a very cool winning move. Queen d3 attacking the bishop, which defends the knight here. And even after rook takes king h1, I mean, it feels incredibly dangerous. But in fact, white is winning this position after rook takes and here and king takes g2. That's the key move, queen d3. So rook d2 comes very close, but is insufficient. The winning continuation is knight takes d5. Well, first of all, you're attacking the queen, so there's no time for white to take the rook. So pawn takes knight forced. And in this case, it's possible to take on d2. Uh, this check doesn't make any difference to the position. The king can sim simply step up to d7 in this case. So queen takes d2. Now you have to spot the follow-up. Bishop f3. That's the one. That's the move. So that if g3, queen h4, threatening mate here and if rook takes then king d7 the king is safe on d7 and then mate follows okay what alternative defenses are there well um, let's try queen e3 does this work this time threatening to take on e5 but no in this case how does black win Hopefully you can spot this one. Black to play and win. Rook check. And now a simple sack to force checkmate. And that allows the queen in. An age-old checkmating idea. And what about rook takes? Well, in this case, you can just step up. King d7, again, it's safe on d7. Threat to take here, and if g3, well, you can just take the rook. That's pretty simple. So the key idea is exchanging off that bishop first and then sacking on d2, because it means that the king always has a safe square on d7, and then bishop f3 is fatal for white. If you want to see the whole game, then do check out the link to chesspuzzle.net and you'll find lots more puzzles there as well.